Welcome back everybody. It's OG, the original Grahamster here. I've got another mission for us today. Today we're going to Jastrus. Why? Because it's the last one of the 0% missions left on Steam. Once we take Jastrus off, we'll have to start on the 0.1s or something else. Unlike the other missions, which have been a simple land mission, I've, I've got a slightly more exciting program today. I'm going to try to land on Jastrus, and then I'm going to try and take off again and land on Taurus, which is also a moon that I haven't visited. Jastrus and Taurus are both found in orbit of Eurydos. Jastrus is the innermost world. That makes it a little tricky because I have to burn off extra Delta V to visit the first world and then proceed to Taurus. I don't want to go to Taurus first because I see it has an atmosphere and that makes it harder to take off. Now, if you watched the previous video, you would know that our last mission to the Eurydos system, well, it didn't quite end as planned. And uh, there was a little tragedy on Boreas. RIP to the Druid who lost his life there. But I did go back, load up an old rocket and finally do my landing on Boreas. But I didn't video that because it didn't count. Officially, I failed the Boreas mission. I resigned and now this is actually a new OG you're listening to now. I have also started a career mode. Now the first mission in that was painfully basic, absolute monkey see monkey do. But if that does start getting exciting, then I will start making videos about that too. But for now, nah. Of course the really exciting news is that Kerbal Space Program well, Kerbal Space Program 2 launches on Friday. And if you know anything about Kerbal Space Program, you'll know that we've been waiting for this for a long time. As my original intro for these movies said, I've been waiting for Kerbal Space Program, and that's how I started playing Juno. So, last night, I went and spent an absolutely indecent amount of money on a new graphics card. And power supply for it, because my old power supply would just not have handled it. So I've ordered myself a new 6800 XT. And hopefully that will push the pixels needed to play Kerbal Space Program 2 at a decent resolution. Because my old RX 580 is just not cutting it. So anyway, financial burdens aside... I really look forward to seeing what we can do in Kerbal Space Program 2. The rocket you can see here today is the Crasher 5. And it is an absolute behemoth. As you can see, the mass is 193 kilotons. Or a lot. And the little capsule right at the top is... It's basically just lost in the size of this rocket. That's the capsule capsule zoom out zoom out zoom out uh, this thing is just ridiculous i thought we'd take the crash out for a spin not that there's anything wrong with the dashes we've been using but just because it's so ridiculously big and yeah it's boring if you just keep doing the same thing this one's got a much higher chance of disaster And was that a disaster? Something looks like it's broken. Has it broken? Ah, it's broken. Ah, I've had a problem with this rocket where it just stops working and bits break off and stuff. I uploaded files to people online and they helped me with it and everything was going well. 
and it seems the problem has just returned where things spontaneously stop working. So as I was saying, the rocket we're taking today is the Dasher 7. And I think you now know why. I'm not going to talk you through it all, you know the drill by now. We get up to space, we circularize the orbit, we find Eurydos. We do a burnout to Eurydos, and we circularize there, and then we head for the moon. The moon of Jastrus. Come on, no, stop bitching up. My personal favorite, jettisoning the boosters. Okay, back to work. Same problem as with the Boreas mission. The planet is in the wrong place, so we just speed up time. Yes, I should do this before I launch. Using my now famous eyeballing and winging techniques, I estimate we're now in the right position. If in doubt, wing it. Ooh, there's something. See that? There's an intercept, there's an intercept, there's an intercept out near Eurydos. We are free of Drew's sphere of influence and well on our way to Eurydos where we have an intercept. I'm disappointed that I couldn't bring the crasher rocket. I was looking forward to testing that. But I did get some advice from someone online which might help me to circumvent the problems I've been having with that rocket and hopefully I'll get to use it soon. Not a bad looking intercept. This stage is almost out of fuel though. Let's see if we've got enough for this burn. Nope. Now when I decided to visit Jastrus and Taurus, I had the Crasher rocket in mind. So I don't know if I'm going to still be able to do that. I'm going to try though. I'm going to try. I'm going to see if I can just 
touch down on the surface of Jastrus and then lift off again and see if that counts as a landing. See if I can make it to Taurus. There's a lot of I don't knows in this equation. A lot of winging it. Oh, that is rather beautiful. Look how close that is. That is spectacular. There's our destination. As things look now, I would say we're not going to have the fuel to make it to Taurus as well. But I'm going to go for broke. We're going to try. But firstly, let's just try and land here, one step at a time. This is a sort of a hybrid burn. I'm going to change my orbital inclination and my distance from the planet at once, simultaneously. So it's not optimized for either. And I'm going to try and get some sort of intercept or near intercept rendezvous with the planet when all is said and done. So we do have an intercept. The Discover Jastrus achievement has been unlocked. What an underwhelming little world. It reminds me of Andrew's Comet. Unfortunately, that means it doesn't have much gravity. And that means I'm going to expend a lot of Delta V just trying to circularize an orbit. And that means leftover fuel for Taurus. Uh, yeah, about that. There won't be any. I don't want to be funny, but I have to hurry up here. My spacecraft is approaching. Time for the all important quick save. Wow, that was it? And I still have fuel left in this stage? Locking retrograde. Oh, I had the map info pinned over the flight info. That's why I was confused. Still learning, still learning, 
Still an idiot. Don't do what I do. That vertical speed is just not increasing. There is so little gravity here. If I wasn't doing this for a video, I would be tempted to try this without a burn. See if I can crash land gently enough. There's my evil shadow, the thing which scared me so much on the Andrews Comet mission. Why have I always got no fuel left as I'm landing? I always seem to need to stage as I'm landing. Rather annoying. I'm coming in sideways, which isn't great. Give me the achievement. I got the achievement. I got the achievement. I'm out of here. Okay. All I'm doing now is trying to get away from the surface of this thing. That's great. I've done enough to break out of its SOI. Once I can get to orbit, I won't be in orbit of it anymore. I'll be in orbit of Eurydos. Then I can see what I have left for a Taurus burn. Okay, primary objective achieved. I landed on Jastris. It was boring and full of pockmarks from meteors, meteors. Asteroids that go too fast. Okay. Now, suddenly, I really want to get to Taurus.